Some of us can remember that Kate Bush was 19 when she achieved her first number one in the UK singles chart. That was back in 1978. She's now 63 and in the past few minutes it's just been confirmed that she's back at number one with a song called Running Up That Hill, first released back in 1985. Now a big hit again after featuring in the Netflix show Stranger Things. Our music correspondent Mark Savage has the story. <laughs> In 1985, Running Up That Hill got to number three in the charts. 37 years later, it's gone two better, knocking Harry Styles off the top spot. And it's all thanks to this. The Netflix show Stranger Things, where Kate Bush's song saves the life of Sadie Sink's character after she succumbs to a dark force. Her friends realised that the best way to get her out of this state um, is to play music and it gives her the strength and the power to be able to overcome that moment, which I think metaphorically is, is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. You don't wanna hurt me. Yeah, yeah. Over the last seven days, Running Up That Hill has been streamed 57 million times around the world as a new generation of fans discovers its charms. Yeah, yeah. When it came out all those years ago, it sounded brand new. No one else could ever have made it. It will sound like that in 10 years' time. It sounds like that now. She's totally separate to everybody else in terms of what she does. There's no one else like Kate Bush, so it sounds new now. 44 years into her career, running up that hill has earned Kate Bush a million dollars in royalties over the last month. But she's not the only one to benefit. Katie Smith is a Kate Bush tribute act. We've seen a rise in ticket sales, which has been, you know, really amazing. Just to be having a chat with people about Kate and her music again has been really, really lovely. And I think with this resurgence, we're going to see a lot more uh, younger people in the audience. Kate Bush approved every single use of her song in Stranger Things, but she couldn't have anticipated what would come next. In a statement on Friday, she said she was overwhelmed by the affection for the song, adding, I feel really moved by it all. Can you remove your headphones, please? Mark Savage, BBC News.